Hey everybody, welcome to another second grade science with Mr. C. Today is tug o' war with pulleys. Now we're going to explore the power of pulleys, one of our simple machines. We saw in the last episode how they lift things up and down, but we haven't seen how powerful they can be yet. Let's check out our materials for this coming build. Alright, so you're going to need one piece of rope, about nine feet long or three meters. Two broomsticks, or they can be thick dowels, rake handles, whatever you have. And you're going to need two helpers. It's even better if you have your parents do this because you are going to be stronger than your parents in this lab. Alright, let's go over to our lab and see how pulleys can be strong. All right, hey folks, it's Mr. C back again with another science video, second grade. Uh, I've got Owen here, and I've got Adam helping me out. So we are going to explore pulleys. Now last week we did raise the flag, and we learned how a pulley can raise and lower things by pulling up on a string. Uh, today we're gonna learn how strong pulleys can actually be, and how it can magnify or multiply how strong you are. Okay, so it's pretty obvious I'm a little bit bigger uh, than the two here, right? But I'm gonna show you by using pulleys that they are actually gonna be stronger than me. So we are gonna hold these two poles together, right? Make sure you have two poles. They can be broom handles, big thick dowels, rake handles, whatever you have. Don't forget your rope. Okay, you're gonna need about nine feet of rope, okay? Now, first thing you need to do you need to tie a knot, right, on one of your handles, right? Just make, make sure the knot doesn't slip because you're gonna wanna be able to pull it, okay? Next step, you're gonna hand one to one person, you're gonna hand one to another person. They're gonna face each other, okay, just like that. And let's go ahead and move our periodic table so we can see a little bit better. Now, what they're gonna do we're going to use pulleys here. I'm going to show you how they are going to magnify their strength, right? I'm not going to pull. I'm just going to wind it. You're going to wind the rope around the handles about three times, okay? So we're going to go one, and it can be kind of tough if you have a long rope. I'm going to go around, one, so I've got one loop, one loop, two, two, and I'm going to pull it down here three and three okay so you can see i've got it looped three times okay make sure you keep it nice and straight straight as you can good it's about a foot apart okay? maybe a little bit longer and what i'm going to do is all i'm going to do is well i'm not going to do it i'm actually going to give it to owen here he's going to pull on this adam and i are going to try and keep it as far away we're going to try and pull the rope out of his hands. Okay, we're gonna see if he can do that. Okay, go ahead and let go. Okay, here you go. Go ahead and grab that rope. Okay, so I'm holding as tight as I can. Hold as tight as you can. I'm gonna put my foot up here for leverage and pull. Now go, pull. It was easy to start off with. Uh, your hands kind of hurt, right? And the rope will get him, but it's not that. He's actually a lot stronger. Not stronger than he looks. It's using the pulleys. It's actually making him a lot stronger. All right, let's try it with Adam, okay? So same thing, we've already got it looped up. And let's go ahead and spread these out a little bit. Good. There we go, nice and apart. And if you have problems with this, go ahead and let go. If you have problems with this, sometimes it gets a little, there you go, just kind of loosen it up. There you go. And the trick is, and we'll do it one more time doing it horizontally, which is kind of cool, okay? Now, same thing. I'm just gonna grab this together. I'm gonna grab it top to bottom. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say go for us, and we're gonna start pulling. And when I say go for you, you're gonna pull, ready? Okay. And pull, let's pull straight back. And go, pull. Oh, gosh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty good, right? So, 
I lost my balance. He was pulling so hard that I lost my balance. Now you're probably thinking, well, he's probably strong to begin with, right? Okay. Go right over there, Adam. We're gonna prove, right? So Adam's gonna come on over here where they can see you. And Adam's gonna pull this out of my hands. Ready, set, go. Okay? And he's pretty strong, right? But I'm a lot stronger. Adam, can I try to pull? Sure. Just to prove it, right? Okay, and I'm gonna hold on with one hand. How about one hand? Okay. And go. <laughs> right? So it's not that they're weak, it's just that I'm a lot stronger. But when we use pulleys, they're actually about as strong as me. It actually multiplies their force. Let's try it one more time. We're gonna hold it horizontally now, okay? So I'm gonna have you guys hold this. So we did it vertically, now let's go and hold it horizontally, okay? You're gonna hold it horizontally for me, just like that. And then, gonna loop it around. About right, there's good. So again, you can do three times, you can do as many times as you want, actually. Um, about three is gonna be what you want, okay? Down, around, down, and around. Okay, watch your fingers. Okay, I got it three times, and now, obviously I could pull it and pull them together easily, you guys saw that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold this, and you're gonna take the string. Okay, and in three, two, one, pull. Oh, he's not moving me, but he's, oh. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? So you can see, how well, we're going to talk about this in the next uh, in our next little clip when we go back to the drawing board. What's actually happening here, which is pretty cool. What do you guys think? Was that not too bad? Yeah. I mean, you guys proved that using pulleys, you guys can actually be a lot stronger. So tug of war. Next time your friends challenge you to a little tug of war, uh, make sure you get your two broomsticks out and a uh, and pulleys, and then say okay. All right, let's go to the drawing board and figure out what's going on here. How did these two kids? overpower me. How did that happen? Let's go to the drawing board. Okay everybody, let's talk about simple machines and mechanical advantage. So mechanical advantage comes from changing how work is being done on an object. With a pulley, you can see we're changing the direction of the rope. So we have more rope, we have to pull it for a longer distance. The weight is the same, in our case, you know, me and one of my boys but it actually seems easier. So the more turns you have, you're actually including more pulleys, which makes it easier. And you're increasing your mechanical advantage. Basically, it makes you seem a lot stronger. You have to pull it for a longer distance, but you need less force to do it. All right, folks, that's all for today. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure you click over here. And if you want to see Second Grade's last week video, click over here. See you all next week for some more Second Grade Science. Mm -hmm.